All right, so we're gonna jump right into this video. I went on Amazon and I purchased some wigs. I have one that's still in the back and I have one that I already styled. So I'm not an expert at this. This is my first time trying this. So um, I went ahead and styled up a wig and I wanted to walk you through the steps. I watched a few videos and um, try to learn some tips on how to style these. So don't come at me in the comments, but let's jump into this video. Okay, so let me bust out this wig here. I bought this um, off of Amazon. They were like, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks or so. This is a Charisma brand. And inside the bag, you get some instructions on the wigs and whatnot. Didn't care about that part. You do get these head caps. And I have one that I've been wearing when I was styling my other one. These are super, super tight. So the reason I'm gonna use this one is because I've already used it on my big head. So you get two of those. And let me show the wig. So when you get your wig, it comes in a little netted bag. So you just gotta open it up. And just be patient with this because your wig will have some hooks and I had the same problem last time with the netting and I kept tugging on it and you just gotta be patient and unhook it okay okay so I learned my lesson when buying these wigs on Amazon and I was not paying attention after watching all my videos I did not listen you want to look for a lace front wig. As you can see here, it has this tissue. Sorry, I have a mirror here, so I'm just looking at it. It has this little lace front up front. And what you're going to do is these give you a more natural look because we're going to go ahead and cut away and create like a hairline. And the first wig that I ordered was just a straight up Halloween wig, like straight box Halloween wig. So I had to send it back. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get this wig. Isn't it pretty? We're gonna get it all fixed up, so just keep watching this video. All right, so once you get your wig, first things first, it says to shake it out to help kind of form the hair. And then, this is gonna be a little struggle because I don't have one of those little fancy head mannequins. I have to put it on my head, take it off, do adjustments here and there, you get the point of it. Hey, there's always a lot of trucks. My neighbors don't know to be quiet. Okay, so what we're gonna need to alter our wig here is you're gonna need a pair of tweezers, probably some of these little hair clips to kind of help hold hair down, or you can use body pins. You're gonna need some concealer, a little hairbrush just to comb the hair down. Also, one of these like edge brushes to help lay some edges here at the end. You will also need some scissors, your little concealer brush, some hairspray, and it got to be, got to be, because it's gonna stick this to your head. And then some hair shine for some shine. Okay, so, sorry. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to recreate our part. When you buy your wigs, they all come with the part down the middle and that kind of gives it away that it's a wig. Um, so we're going to recreate our part by plucking some of the hair out, making a new hairline. Um, but we have to be careful when we're doing that because, I don't know if you guys can see this, your wig has tracks in it. So you can see where your track is. It just shows like the stitching and whatnot all up right in here. And it's thick. So, let's see. First kind of just... Plop it on, and we're gonna eyeball. Oops. I just gotta figure out which way I part my hair. I forgot. Okay, so we're gonna part our hair this way. And I just put the clip so it identifies which side's gonna be my bigger part. And let's use this for some stability. I'm gonna get your comb. You're gonna form your part here. Remember, like I said, you can't go too far back because then you see the tracks. So, so yeah. Um, how about this weather, guys? It's 
getting nice and hot here. Okay, so I'm kind of just trying to brush out the part. And looking at this right now, I can't go too deep or as deep as I'd like because there's a truck right there. So I'm just kind of moving forward and just seeing where I can get my part going. Thank you. So you're gonna get your tweezers and calm down girl. You're gonna get your tweezers and then you're just gonna pluck out your hairs here. Now you wanna try to go like one at a time so that way you're not tearing the lace because it can happen. So we just pluck out the hair. And tweezers are good for like the starting. I also like to use my hand to pull it out. That way I can comb it through and then pluck out the hairs as I need to. So. Yeah, I don't even know like what inspired me to test out wigs, but here we are. We're taking some pictures for a friend of ours and he asked me about taking pictures right after I did my big chop. And these are supposed to be like a wedding photo shoot. So I was like, I need hair to put my veil on. So I ordered these wigs. Um, it's just been taking me some time to alter and create these wigs. So here we are. And they're not gonna be like the most natural looking thing, but it's better than my little afro here. Okay, so just kind of plucking out some hair, just getting it to a thick part. And then I notice you don't want to go too thick because on my other wig that I have here, I didn't go like crazy plucking, but when I tried it on and once it's all said and done, you can kind of see the little pores from the net here. So I don't want to go too crazy with the part. Let's stop there with the part for right now. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get our small scissors and we're going to cut off this lace and we're gonna follow the edge like as close as you can as possible to the hairline. Now with these wigs, like I know some people, they um, glue them down. I don't glue mine down. I just try not to move my head a lot so you don't see the disconnection between your ear here and the wig. And then you also want to examine your wig before leaving the house with it. The other wig had a red tag in the hair so that would have been embarrassing. Okay, so this is what your wig's gonna look once you cut off that extra lace there. And then take these bad things off. Now, they have these little clips here and I'm assuming this is just to make sure that it's tight and fitted to your head. Um, and I go to about the third, third one in. Okay. And now it's time for our beautiful head cap. So, this is a struggle, guys. You're gonna get your head cap, and then you're gonna struggle and wrestle with it. You're gonna tuck in all your hair here. I also forgot my bobby pins. I thought I brought them up here, but it's fine. Oh, that's my hair. Once you get your wig cap on, what made it easier for me um, earlier when doing the first one was I used bobby pins and I tried to tuck in these little sideburns. My sideburns through this big chop have been driving me crazy, but I'm hoping they grow out soon.
Okay, so your wig cap inside, it has three clips. There's two up front and then there's one in the center. Now, I use the wig cap so that you don't have all that extra volume making it kind of obvious that you have a wig. So I'm assuming that's for like people who don't wear wig caps. So what I do is I like to throw it over and then adjust it. So go like that, come forward. I feel like um, the guy from, what's that movie? Inside Out, the purple guy. So once you got your wig on, I try to find the clasp with my thumbs. You're gonna snatch that right on. And then gently grab your cap, pull it forward. <laughs> and then pull it back. Now you see what I mean by that front part? That's why we're creating a new part. So when free handing your hair part and all that, it's really tough if you don't have your mannequin and if you're just like going on taking it off. So we're gonna have to recreate some of it while it's on our head here. Let's see. How do I want this? Because of the original part that they gave us the hair wants to continue falling over, so just slightly brush it, get it to your liking, and then we're going to help lay this down so that it's not curling up. So just gonna clip that. So I remember earlier when I was saying that I don't glue it down, that means that it can lift right here, this lace. So it's clipped on right here with the lace lift, so just make sure you're not like driving in the wind because then you'll see your lace. So bringing this in closer, we're just gonna fuck out a few more hairs here. And I'm trying to make sure it's not like too perfect, that way it's not obvious because like I said, you can see the little pores on here. So, okay, I'm just gonna pull it back just a bit because I feel like I have a small forehead with that on. So again, brush it out. Okay, and clip this down here to keep our hair from going over to the wrong side. And we're gonna take our wig off. There's that. And now we're gonna flip our wig over just like so. And now it's time for our concealer step. Now, we're gonna be using some concealer because this is gonna help create that scalp-like look to it. That way it's not too obvious. And you only need just a little bit. I just did the smallest dab there on my fist. And then I'm just gonna go in with the brush. And we're going in from the bottom, that way you don't see all its cakiness, so just go in and rub it in. Like I said, you just need a little bit. I'm just using my Cover FX, it's just what I have. You can literally use any concealer. Alright, so that's that step. We went ahead and blended our part. To help style the um, hair part over so that you don't have that obvious part down the middle. You are supposed to use a steamer with this synthetic hair. I don't have one of those little steamers. So what I did is I lightly go in with my hair dryer and lightly heat up the um, hair here and then smooth it down. And I found that it worked best when I had it on myself than struggling one hand. So we're going to place it back on and then go in with that hair dryer. So. Go back to front. Ooh, that's a way off center. There we go. That's more like it. 
I feel like every time I put this back on, I just get a new hairline where I'm putting it on backwards. So, I don't have it locked in place. I just have it on my head so that my head can help us. Just gonna put that there. Get your blow dryer. So just real quickly, we're gonna go on medium heat and just like a little blow dry, so. Let the area cool. You don't want to keep it there too long because like I said, this is synthetic hair, so it's plastic. You don't wanna go melting it away, so. Again. Okay, so. Now when we take these off, now when we go ahead and take off the clips, you've created your new part without that hair just crumbling right over. So, we're gonna go ahead and Place our wig on correctly and snap it on now. And let's keep this hair pulled back. So I have my wig cap on and what will help me get away with making this look more real is baby hairs. Now, I know you're supposed to keep your wig cap on and you're supposed to make it look like you have no existing hair, this is your natural hair. The roots of this is like a darker color and I can get away with using some of my own natural baby hairs So I went ahead earlier and kind of just like picked those out They've been getting kind of messed up from the back and forth transfer of the wigs So I'm just combing that hair out. What we're gonna do here next is I'm gonna bring this mirror in a little closer. We're gonna pick out just a little bit of hair We're not gonna do too big of chunks, but we're gonna pick out some little strands here and we're gonna create our own baby hair for those of you who don't want your wig to look boxy. And like I said in my last video, I'm not the greatest of laying edges. I have a really hard time because of the thickness of my hair. So edges is not my forte, but um, I'm trying to learn. So we got a few strands here. Pull this back. Same thing over on this other side. And just make sure you're careful with this step if you're doing it on yourself, that you're not cutting your own natural hair. When you're going with your little scissors, you're just gonna cut that hair away. Okay. The next step is to get a little bit of hairspray and just lightly there and release this hair no professional but there it looks a little more believable okay now same thing over on this side And you just continue just like fluffing your wig basically and like styling it till it gets to your liking. This wig keeps getting caught on my industrial bar, but work around it. 
Now, this wig that I ordered is super wavy and curly. If you want to style your wigs, you can go in with your flat iron. Like I said though earlier, it is plastic, so you want to go with a low heat setting. I, however, will just kind of run my fingers through this, kind of loosen and break up that wave a bit. And my sideburns seem to make their way out of this wig, so. And kind of pull those through that way if my hair moves you can kind of still see that hairline and there you have your wig after transforming it so this is one of the wigs that I had ordered and I'm gonna go ahead and switch off to the other wig Got the wig on and hair mask. Lift it lightly from your clips. And just kind of clip it in place. Adjust it there. And here is my second wig. I got this one because it was more similar to what my hair looked like before I did the big chop. Um, I had this little ombre effect going on. No. Bring those edges back out that we had created earlier. I ordered that lilac purple wig so that I had just something fun and different because I can't be adding heat to my hair anymore with starting our new curly girl challenge and I don't want to go dyeing it either so I want something more fun that I can have temporary so here is wig number two okay guys so once you're done with your wig for the day whether you're out on a date or whether it's just for pictures or whatever the occasion is um, what's recommended with these so that they're not getting all damaged is you want to go ahead and what I found earlier was easier. Um, you can use some of the body pins and place them lightly onto the wig so that it keeps your part in formation. And then you're going to go ahead and wrap it back into the little netting. That way the hair is not just, you know, rolling around in the bag. So we're going to go ahead and get our net open. And just kind of wrap it back in and you're set for the next time so that's how you preserve your wedding all right so guys thank you for watching this video i hope that it helped in some way like i said i'm not a professional i'm just trying it out for fun just trying to learn for some pictures that we're going to be doing thank you for watching please give this video a like Hit that subscribe button, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. I'll link all the information on these wigs. Like I said, I got them from Amazon, so I'll put all the information there for you. And once again, thank you guys for all your support. Stay tuned for the next video.